In this video, we will show you how to replace your coolant temp sensor on the Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 liter engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Commonly, you do want to flush out the cooling system whenever you're doing something coolant related. Either way, you need to make sure that the cooling system is cool to the touch, make your way over to the coolant cap here, turn this counterclockwise to remove it. A quick inspection, and then reinstall that cap. Make sure it's nice and tight. We did that to remove pressure from in the system. Now let's make our way over to the coolant temp sensor along the driver's side of the engine. Looking along the driver's side of the engine, if you were to make your way all the way down here where my pry bar is, you're going to find a wiring harness that has a shiny coating across it. That wiring harness leads directly to the coolant temp sensor, which is attached to the driver's side of your engine. To disconnect that connector, grab onto that locking tab, give it a slight lift, and pull this out of place. A quick check for corrosion and set it aside. Make sure your engine and your exhaust is cool to the touch. At this point, make sure the engine's clean and have a collection bucket under this area. We'll be using a 19 millimeter to remove the coolant temp sensor. What you'll find is that the coolant temp sensor isn't necessarily screwed in all the way until it's bottomed out against the engine. It's only about halfway up the threads. Now when you go to remove this, there is the probability coolant will come out of this area. We'll try to expedite this process by quickly removing the original and reinstalling the brand new coolant temp sensor. While I have that sensor out, I'll just plug the hole with my gloved finger. There it is, friend. Okay, it's time for installation of our brand new coolant temp sensor. Let's take this and put it in place. Keep in mind, when you go to tighten this, we're only tightening it in approximately halfway up the threads. We've tightened the sensor so that approximately half of the threaded area is inside of the engine. And it's nice and tight. Let's make sure we torque this to 15 foot-pounds. Now that that's torqued, let's plug in our electrical connector here. Press it in, listen for a click, give it a tug, make sure it's completely secured. At this point, clean up your mess with some water and we'll make our way over to the coolant fill. Over at the fill, we're going to open up the cap and then run the vehicle for a while. What's going to happen is the cooling system is going to burp out any air in the system. The air will make its way up into this area and coolant will make its way down and in. Once the vehicle's at normal operating temperature and your cooling fan has turned on, double check your coolant level. If you need to top it off, make sure you use the manufacturer specified fluid up along this area here and the fill would be down along the side here. Once you're sure it's full, go ahead and reinstall that coolant cap. Make sure this is nice and tight. Okay friends, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, you just want to make sure that you did clean up that coolant mess. Run your vehicle and triple check for coolant leaks. After that, close the hood and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.